Good morning everyone. It is Friday morning. I decided to do my video last night and um, test this Pro Glass 1000 clear coat resin. I have to say that I really like it. Usually when I do resin uh, in the evening we can smell like a small little smell in our bedroom. So this is my studio and I'm just gonna pan over really quickly. Do you see these shutters right here? So that leads to my room. Below these shutters, because I'm on the third floor, is my room. So my studio's in a loft inside my house. And then you can see that that's all open. So that's my living room and kitchen and everything. So long story short, um, no smell whatsoever. My husband and I were talking about it yesterday and we were like, wow, we don't smell anything while we're laying here in bed. So that was cool. So yeah, no smell, no smell while I was working with it. Um, it's set up really nicely. It's set up really hard. And, um, I'm going to show you the piece that I did yesterday and the little charms and everything that I did yesterday. Um, and let you see the results. Overall, I will buy this again, definitely. I probably won't get this size again at that price, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go with this. I like this resin very much. Works well with the pigments, and I use, as you can see there, Artisu, I use, color obsession pigments. I use um, Pearl X, Art and Glow, Black Diamond, alcohol inks, acrylic uh, paint, liquid acrylics, Indian inks. It works with all of those. So I'm pretty happy with this resin. So let me show you the results. So Let's pan down here real quick. So this is my painting. I'm sorry this light is in the way. Let's kind of move that over and get it out of my face. But the glass shine, hard as a brick, is beautiful. I This came out really nice. You see that? completely smooth very soft and it's a soft resin it's almost equal to uh, art resin but not that soft because art resin with these I would have been able to bend this this is just slightly flexible but I'll show you guys that in a minute so this is my painting it came out I'm very pleased with this. I really am. I really am pleased with this. And I take my backs because I don't want to have to be dealing with drips and all that. I do let it drip on the sides. I usually sign my um, my canvases before I do resin art because I want it sealed. But I didn't know if this was going to turn out or not. So. You know, I'll sign them later. And I usually sign, might as well bring that out too. I buy these pins from Michael's Recollections um, pins and I sign it with this. They come with bronze, gold, and silver. And whatever colors I use in my paintings, that's what I sign my name with. With this, I'll probably use bronze. So, love that. That came out really nice. I'm, I'm pleased with this. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oops. Okay, can't even display it because the wax is slippery. There you go. And then here are these two little matching coasters. Isn't that nice? Show you the detail of that. It's beautiful. So I did do a video last night. I did upload it on YouTube. It's already on there. I will show the link share the link so if you want to watch from mixing 
to mixing my colors to doing this quick pour. It took probably 30 minutes in total to do everything, just to do this. And then to do these little, um, I have these molds here. I have more molds, but I wanted to try this for sure. This is for making jewelry. And I have another one like this too, somewhere around here. But, um, oh, I actually have them behind this resin. But I wanted to try these out because they have these little holes in here. And I thought these would make great keychains. And then these would make little magnets. So thought that was cool. Got that idea from a couple of people, actually. So I can't give anybody, like, known props for that. But, uh, yeah. This resin is going to be part of my art supply for sure. And then these are all of my other little, you see my little thing? So I have this, this would be really fun. Make some little key, big keychains with that. Got some stars here, got some lovely hearts, Valentine's Day. And I thought this was so cute, some little cupcakes. So, cause you know, who doesn't like cupcakes? Who isn't a cupcake? So there you go. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This resin is awesome. And then last night, you guys saw me pour the runoff of my resin into these little molds. So I have these little diamonds here. So I made uh, all white, gold. This is lovely. This is a good way to display your... Um, resins too you know you want to mix up some resin and you want the true color of your resin there you go right there that's great i love that the sparkle white i mean it just really the camera doesn't even do it any justice at all and the light in my studio is awesome it is uh awful but you know we work with what we work with. And then the jewelry. <laughs> Y'all, this is my keychain right here. Do you see how pretty that is? It almost reminds me of those Petri dish dishes that people do. And they put the needle in their resin and make those flowers. There we go. You see that? That's cool. I just, I thought that was pretty neat. This is neat, like a little necklace. You can wear that as a necklace if you wanted to. And then I was just playing around, just seeing what I can put in the resin and these molds. I put some pigment powder in here. And I listed everything in my YouTube video of what I used and the names. Isn't that neat? So fun. So, and I put a couple of little... I used to do nail nails and I had the little jewelry for the nails and I dropped some of that in here so that's kind of cool. I'll show you that really 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 quickly just so you can see what I'm talking about. But I had these and I used to put these on people's nails and my nails and I don't do that anymore. Uh, I'm a licensed cosmetologist so you know, I have a whole bunch of stuff from nails and makeup and all that. And, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. So, might as well put it in my art, right? This is my favorite. <laughs> I love this little thing. It's a little puzzle piece. You can, like, I don't know. I don't even know if they can fit together. But you can make, like, a little fun little chain or something. And have a little friend and see if they fit together. I'm going to make another one and see if they fit together. What, isn't that fun? That's so cute. And it has a little hole in it. Kind of reminds me of a little pirate anchor. But it's a puzzle piece. So yeah, I just tried a lot of little things. And just pour my leftover resin from this uh, resin right here. And wow. And like I said, it's soft, but not, you can't bend this at all. Barely. 
So I love that. It's probably still curing. I should probably leave it alone. Kind of like my stuff to set. I usually hang these on the wall. I would hang this on the wall and let it cure for another two days before I let anybody have it. But look, that's the bronze that I used in this painting and these coasters with the white. And just kind of mix them all together. So, and for these, I went to Michael's and I got these magnets. And I'm just going to glue these magnets on with some, um, what is that glue that I use? 6,000? I can't remember. Here. Here it is. I'm going to glue these magnets on with this. I love this glue. It works great. I'm just put it on the back and let people put them on the refrigerator. I don't even know if I'm going to sell them. I'll probably just make them with the leftover and drop a couple in one or two in a um, purchase when people purchase and these little fun things because they're so little how do you sell these right and um there you go a dollar fifty cents I don't know but they're fun this would be good for a craft show you go down to the park or whatever and you're selling your art and you're displaying your art. These are little fun things. Put them on the key rings and dollar fifty, two dollars. You know, for these at a show. But for me, buy some art. Get one of these little chimes. This is glass. This is recollections. I don't know if I can show this, but see those little pieces in there. But the sparkle is so cool and I'm gonna do this as a keychain so it's pretty nice I like that these molds are awesome this product is yeah low smell long I worked this for about an hour when I was doing these it was well into an hour it's like well into 50, 45, 50 minutes, almost 60. So, and right at an hour, I would say close to the end of making these, it started getting tacky, the resin. It wasn't hot, but it was, I was having to heat it up with the heat gun just to pour it out into the molds and get it in here. So, yeah, it has a long working time, very low smell dries nicely harder than art resin it dries kind of like art resin it um i didn't time it i didn't touch it i just let it dry overnight so i would say 24 hours it dries the next day touchable it's not sticky nothing it's you could sand this off and sell it tomorrow so yeah sell it today it's it's pretty much ready to go and I like that. These are still a little bit soft. I probably wouldn't let anybody have these until like two days. But, uh, and the coasters, yeah. No dents, nothing. Oh, yeah, there. So I would probably let these cure for two days before I actually hand them over to customers. It's just making a small little, kind of like art resin. But, um, half the price. So, there you go. Another option of resin on the market. Um, $57.95 for one gallon. $99.95 for two. And they do have smaller half gallons as well for sale. I don't know how much they sell those for. I think it was like 35 or something like that. 45 so check it out. Peace.